First, I want to give a big thank you to all the subscribers uh, on my channel. I just hit 700 subscribers. I never thought uh, I would uh, hit uh, this amount. Definitely uh, very exciting for me. I'm just a very, very, very small uh, YouTuber just sharing, you know, my passion for uh, pinguiculas, uh, little carnivorous plants. And I just want to say uh, just a thank you. Uh, and I appreciate that. Now, first I just kind of wanted to kind of sit back and just kind of relax a little bit because uh, I've had a long day putting together a whole bunch of pings uh, for uh, the June 3rd uh, Bee Caps uh, show. So if you live in the Bay Area, uh, June 3rd, there is a very large carnivorous plant show. It's uh, held annually and all the big vendors will be there uh, out in uh, Alameda. Uh, Rainbow Carnivores, California Carnivores are the two biggest ones here uh, on the West Coast. Uh, yes, uh, there are uh, many more uh, carnivorous uh, uh, vendors and guess what? I'll be one of them. I'll just be like the small guy with like one table and just to kind of share uh, some of my pings with you. So if you do uh, come to uh, that event, uh, please drop by, say hi. Uh, definitely like to meet new carnivorous plant lovers if you've been in uh, the hobby for many years or maybe today uh, is your very first uh, show you will definitely be amazed at all of the carnivorous plants that are brought by uh, a lot of hobbyists and vendors uh, i think last year i saw this pitcher plants that was literally the size of like my forearm it was super big it can probably uh catch a, a rat or at least a rat definitely not a, a mouse mouse would be uh, too small for it but uh, it was surprisingly very big so uh, please come on out and uh, support and if you are in the bay area uh, you can definitely uh, sign up to be a member of the b caps family so uh, come on out uh, and enjoy first off uh, i wanted to kind of share a little bit with you because I think uh, a couple of my last videos, I've been shopping uh, late on, <laughs> late at night, uh, buying a decent amount of uh, pings. And so the question, I think it was John uh, that asked, uh, did I have too many uh, Sharkaritas uh, out there? Or did I have too many Sharkaritas uh, that night? Um, it's a good guess, but here, uh, let, me, let me just, uh, how about let's just enjoy a drink uh, together here. So if you're uh, sitting watching at home, uh, grab yourself a favorite beverage. Um, I just want to share with you what I've been pouring uh, lately. So here's a little highball glass. I don't know if you can tell. One, I do have like an ice cube in here. It has my name etched on it. My wife hand etched uh, these glasses. I am a Star Wars fan. Uh, definitely not a nerd. I don't know all the lore or anything, but I definitely enjoy uh, the Star Wars series, especially the Mandalorian. So I'm not sure if you can tell this has a Mandalorian uh, etched on it. And the ice that is in here is a Stormtrooper head. I just picked this up. We went out shopping uh, for lunch and I think we went to like Williams Sonoma. I'm like, oh, I got to get that. So it's a, a it's a Stormtrooper head in there. So what am I drinking? Well, I've been trying uh, lately some Japanese whiskey. It's a hibiki. I've been kind of pouring this a little bit and just been uh, Centauri whiskey. So hibiki Centauri whiskey. I've been enjoying this. So let's uh, pour a little bit. And yes, this is uh, <laughs> what's been getting me at night sometimes uh, when I'm just kind of, you know, obviously just laying in bed, relaxing and sometimes you kind of surf a little bit and when you surf you go oh that's such a great idea here we go so here's my drink right there so cheers to you out there <sighs> yeah that does taste good now, I've never been a big fan of like whiskey um, in my early years, but uh, lately I've been kind of been turned on or at least want to try a little bit more uh, like whiskey or just kind of liquor in general. 
I've never been like a huge like liquor like fan, but uh, it's been uh, growing on me. So I've definitely been enjoying that. All right, let's put that aside. And you'll, you'll be seeing me take a, a sip here every, every once in a while, or maybe uh, too often. And hey, who knows? Maybe in a week I'll have another video with another uh, plant order uh, showing up, uh, another unboxing. But I'm going to restrain myself because I do have uh, that plant show where uh, I'll probably either trade or buy more uh, things that I see that I don't have. All right, so let's talk about uh, a ping. Now, what I wanted to show you are these two pings right here. So these two pings, this is a Moranesis J. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, one seems a little bit different than the other. One seems pretty large, one seems on the smaller side. If you were wondering, these are actually the ex same exact plants. Now, I wouldn't say exactly the same plants. Uh, they are the same exact clone, I should say, because uh, I've propagated uh, these, I think, um, probably like uh, last year or a couple of years ago. And, you know, clones of clones of clones. This is not the Clone Wars. But you'd be probably, uh, you know, wondering why is one so much larger uh, than the other? I've never seen a Moranesis uh, get this large before, so either I'm very uh, lucky to have it, or what did I do? So, as you can see, right, I grow all of my plants here in my office. There are some exceptions, because I like to try to experiment uh, new things. So this Moranesis J, what I did, I think it was early last year, um, we had a gnat problem in our kitchen, some fruit flies or some little bugs and gnats. So I put a this ping in my kitchen windowsill. So I probably like left it there for over a year. Now, this is probably what happened with uh, the natural sunlight. This sucker just blossomed, it just bloomed. And I'm just kind of like taking a look at this right now. This was a little bit different like a few months ago because a few months ago I put it back here in my office uh, to continually just to grow. I actually swapped them out. I have some Gigantias now uh, in my uh, windowsill. I have two of them. I'm curious if that will also make them kind of grow a little extra larger, you know, Natural sunlight is probably superior than the LED grow lights. So I just wanted to kind of experiment. I don't, I can't tell any difference uh, just yet, uh, my Gigantias, but uh, I'm gonna give it some time. Now this one, as I brought it back into my office, it's just, it gave out like the largest bloom. As you can tell, there's like one stalk right here. I try to pollinate this, so it's still pretty steady. I don't know if the pollination has like, if it's took or not. Let me just take a, take a quick peek. If the seed pod or like the, the pod is kind of, you know, growing or it kind of like expanding, but it's still uh, erect. So let it do its thing. And then this ping right here is starting to multiply. Or actually, I shouldn't say multiply. Uh, it's starting to divide. So there are two crowns um, on this ping. It is getting pretty big. Now this ping right here, it is the clone. It's been kind of chilling uh, for like a while. Uh, I've just potted these up uh, this afternoon because I'm gonna be bringing them to the show uh, to sell. But as I just wanted to really just show you the stark difference and maybe what the potential it can be, right? When you get like a, a ping this size, it can grow into this size right here. You definitely have that potential for it to kind of massively grow. It doesn't happen for every single ping. I couldn't tell you 
you know, which species grow a little bit larger than others. Obviously, there are some pings like the Florian or Essiriana that are more succulent-like and they stay very, very small. Uh, so those have different kind of properties behind them. But I just wanted to show you the difference of, you know, what is possible. Yeah, and I, and I really do enjoy it. So cheers to uh, the natural sunlight in the kitchen. And what possibilities um, there, that there are. But that's all I really wanted to show you um, in this kind of quick video, just to kind of you know look at uh, the very the the difference uh, of them. I'm just very fascinated uh, with these guys, just you know under different conditions, different lighting, different substrates, you know maybe how often you water them or not, you know they do what they do, nature at its finest. So that's it uh, for uh, the ping action. And that's about it. So just want to say thank you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate this. Uh, hopefully you stay tuned. Uh, I, I plan to put on my Instagram a few more kind of like uh, pictures leading up uh, to uh, the BCAPS show of what either I'm bringing or a little bit behind the scenes. I'm trying to put together a little behind the scenes kind of like vlog of just everything that's going on in my office. I do have uh, another shelf that I brought into uh, my office just to put trays of pings that I'm gonna be selling because now I think uh, that's what the problem is. You know, you propagate a lot, you get a lot of pings growing, yay, that's great. But then now all of a sudden, when you wanna do an event or show, it's like, Oh man, I have all these pings and I got to pot them up, uh, put them together. I got to label them um, and just get ready to, to, to show them off and uh, to sell them. So, you know, I think that's just part of uh, being a small little hobbyist, a little uh, pseudo entrepreneur. And, you know, it's just fun. It's that uh, sweat work you got to put into it. Yeah, I think that I think that's what you got to call it. Yeah. But just put that sweat into it because you know what? I am sweating right now in my office. It is uh, warm. And maybe that's what's probably helpful uh, right now is a little whiskey uh, with that. So here's to you. All right. Have a great night. And let's hope I don't buy any more pings tonight because this is, I have a, a full drink and uh, let's see how this goes. So. Again, thank you for uh, the 700 subs. I appreciate it. And if you do like uh, what I'm putting out, uh, sub again. Actually, no, 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 I'm just kidding. You can't do that. But uh, if you're new watching, uh, give me a sub, a, a like, and a comment. Maybe, what is your favorite uh, whiskey? Yeah, let me, uh, let me hear. What is your favorite whiskey? Maybe I'd like to try it out. Right now, like I said, I'm focusing on the Japanese whiskeys. Uh, I'm open to trying uh, some others and uh, recommendations, you know, are always uh, good to have. So, all right, have a great night. I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care, bye-bye. Uh,